Hey everyone, Zane here, and today we're going to review Adobe Acrobat Pro. Adobe Acrobat Pro is back with some series of upgrades in 2025. Whether you are a student, a professional, or just someone who works with PDFs all the time, you're going to want to see what Adobe has packed into this year's update. From AI-powered tools to smoother workflows, Acrobat Pro is evolving fast. So is it worth the upgrade? Let's dive in. Overview. For those unfamiliar, Adobe Acrobat Pro is Adobe's premium PDF solution used to create, edit, sign, and manage PDFs. And in 2025, Adobe is clearly leaning hard into productivity and AI enhancements. The new version is sleeker, faster, and smarter, with a bunch of features designed to make working with documents almost effortless. New features. Number one, AI Assistant Integration Acrobat AI Beta. Let's start with the biggest update, Acrobat AI Assistant. Adobe has finally rolled out its AI-powered assistant in beta. You can now ask it to summarize long PDFs, extract data points, or even answer questions based on the document's content. It's basically ChatGPT for PDFs, and it is incredibly helpful when dealing with research papers, reports, or contracts. Number two, enhanced liquid mood on desktop. Liquid mood isn't new but it is used to be mobile only in 2025. It is on desktop Acrobat Pro and it is awesome. It reforms long, complex documents into clean, readable layouts, great for accessibility or just avoiding eye strain. Number three, smarter PDF editing tools. Editing text and images in PDFs has gotten way better. The new auto line and text wrapping tools make it feel more like editing in Microsoft Word or Google Docs. You can even switch fonts and styles without breaking the layout. Number four, form creation improvements. Creating interactive forms is faster thanks to the upgraded form detection tool. Acrobat now recognizes fields like name, date, email, and auto tags them saving you a ton of manual setup. Number five, enhanced e-sign and document tracking. E-signature workflows have been streamlined too. There is no built-in dashboard for tracking who is signed, who hasn't, and when they open the file plus, the new e-sign templates help if you are spending the same doc repeatedly. User interface and performance. The interface in 2025 is cleaner and more responsive. Menus are simplified, tools are easier to access, and it just feels snappier overall. Adobe also claims better performance across devices. And after testing, I would say they delivered especially on large PDFs or forms with lots of fields. Pricing and plans. Pricing hasn't changed much. Acrobat Pro still comes with a monthly plan starting at around $20 per month, or you can go yearly for a small discount. The AI Assistant is free for now while it's in beta, but Adobe has hinted that it may become part of a premium add-on package later this year. Pros and Cons Pros Powerful AI features, easier editing and form creation, desktop liquid mood, improved performance, streamlined e-sign and tracking. Cons Still subscription-based, no no lifetime license, AI assistant may eventually cost more, can feel overwhelming for basic users. Overall, the new tools are awesome, but Acrobat Pro is still very much designed for power users. If you just view PDFs occasionally, the free reader is probably enough, but if you work with documents daily, the upgrade is legit. So is Adobe Acrobat Pro 2025 worth it? For professionals, researchers, or anyone legal? business or education? Absolutely. The AI features alone are a game changer. If you are already subscribed, you are getting a solid upgrade. And if you are still on fence, you can always start with the free trial. And that's all for today's video. If you find it helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe to the channel, leave us a good comment and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and goodbye.